everyone, it is me again, and today is the day that I am starting draft 4 of Stoneborn, and I'm very excited. So if you watched my last vlog, I took off today and tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, <laughs> because I just really kind of wanted to, I guess, decompress, because even though I worked from home for a long time, it was just like kind of an added layer of stress. So yeah, um, it's Thursday, July 6th, July. It's Thursday, August 6th, and I wanted to sleep in actually, but I think I was too excited to start this draft. I've been up for about four hours now, it's 7.13 a.m. I got up and I did my laundry, and I have been working on my newsletter, which is finished, so I'll include the link down below if you want to sign up for my newsletter. If not, obviously I understand, but it is down there if you're interested. I woke up and I did my laundry and I worked on that, and you know, changing my site around just a little bit so I could add the newsletter. And now I think I am finally ready to start draft four, and like I said, I'm just really, really excited. So I pulled out my mouse and keyboard, uh, mostly because I wanted to use the mouse, but I figure if I have a mouse, might as well use the keyboard too, because what I'm going to be doing is... I'm not going to really show you my screen because I don't want you to read it, but I am going to open up the Pages app, which I normally don't use. I'm normally just Scrivener, like hands down Scrivener all the time, every time. But um, and the Scrivener uh, software, it does have um, an option to compile all of your chapters into one document, but I just, I personally don't like it. I like to be a little more hands-on when I'm compiling. So I... This is the step kind of before I put it through Vellum and format it. So what I'm going to do is format a PDF, basically, and compile all of my chapters myself. And as I'm doing that, I'm going to go through chapter by chapter and reread and fix anything that needs to be fixed, you know. So it's, it's kind of a formatting plus editing type thing that I'm doing, but because I'm going to be like copying and pasting, that's why I pulled out my mouse, because that makes it a lot easier. Today's coffee, what was that, maple walnut? Let's see what it tastes like. The flavor is really, really subtle. I actually don't get either maple or walnut. There's definitely something there, and it's good. I'm gonna be honest with you, since I had that hazelnut cream, no coffee has topped that. Like, that was the best of the variety pack so far. But yeah, so I am going to set you up somewhere else so you can see what I'm doing, but not too close because I don't want you to read. But yeah, so I'm going to set you up and get started. I probably should have my dual monitor set up for this, it would probably make it ten times easier, but I'm sure you noticed I took it off the table, the table, I took it off my desk because even though it worked and I enjoyed it, the TV was so bulky. I want to get a more compact monitor, something that fits better. So that might be what I asked for for Christmas for all my family, but for now I just got rid of it and I'm just going to use my one, my one single screen. <laughs> decided to change, um, which I guess just goes to show that this is why multiple revisions are good. <laughs> but I definitely feel like it's getting better. I was reading it out loud to make sure that, you know, it flowed, that it sounded good, all that stuff. There's a definite tone shift from book three versus the other two. Uh, Shyla is... I don't want to say she's maturing, but she kind of is. The What she goes through kind of forces her to mature a little bit. But also, um, this, these aren't really spoilers, but maybe a little bit. But she is, in the first book, she is kind of touched by magic and 
humans aren't meant to have any kind of contact with magic, so this magic is starting to really affect her on a mental and emotional level, so there's a much darker tone as she kind of struggles with this. And she drops an F-bomb in the very first chapter, and she hasn't done that just yet. <laughs> but it's, it's definitely a tonal shift. I just hope that it's not too much for the, pe the people who've read the first two books so far. <laughs> I'm excited because this, this one is still my favorite of the three, and it's just it's kind of nice to be reading it to see how much better it is than the first one, and then to be making it even better with what I am doing to it now. <laughs> because I've been writing for a very long time, I am 31, I have been writing since I was 12, I guess, I don't know. That's when I really started writing fanfiction, and I've learned a lot over those what I can't do math. All that time I've learned a lot writing fanfiction, and I definitely have been confident in my writing the past, you know, five, ten years, I've been very confident in my writing, but when I go back and read parts of the first book, it still feels very amateurish to me, so it's nice to see that change, I guess, in doing this draft, because even looking at the third draft, it's a lot better than the first one, and so this fourth draft is just, I'm very proud of what I've done so far. And I'm very proud of how much I've grown, I guess, as a writer and as a reviser, as a publisher. I am proud of how far I've come and how much I've grown. But I am going to stop to eat something. I might watch a YouTube video or read the next chapter. It's a Daenerys chapter. I also, uh, I bought Detroit Become Human on PlayStation. I've heard all the valid criticisms about David Cage, the guy who made the game, and you know, I believe them, I appreciate them, but the game itself is interesting and I'm really just bored with video games because I just, I just want a new Dragon Age game, honestly, like, I'm just waiting for Dragon Age, like, so I've just been really bored and Detroit is filling that hole for now and I just really want to play that right now, but I'm gonna wait and possibly do at least another chapter before I do that. So yeah, the plan. Eat and watch either a YouTube video or read a chapter, and then I'm going to work on chapter two, and then we will see, and I will let you know where I am. <laughs> okay, so I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. Um, so I ate, watched a YouTube video, like I said I was going to, and then I did uh, two more chapters, chapters two and three, and then I took a shower and I cleaned the toilet, and I've now just been writing notes for a future video, so I haven't, like I said, I'm, I'm not as productive as I want it to be, but I made it to chapter 4. I have gone through 23 pages at, at the moment, and like I said earlier, I'm kind of surprised by how much I'm still finding myself changing, but I'm also just a lot happier with what I have right now, so it's exciting. It, it's really fun to watch the progress. It is now 12.09, and I really want to go play Detroit Become Human before my boyfriend gets home from work. So that's what I'm going to do. And then I may work on this a little bit more, but also, obviously, I'm off tomorrow. And I'm going to try and be a little bit more productive tomorrow. <laughs> Friday the 7th and yeah obviously I didn't film anything yesterday because yesterday I went to play Detroit Become Human and I became one with the couch the rest of the day. <laughs> I beat the game. Uh, there's a lot of problems with the story and the I guess metaphors that David Cage tried to shoe in about a very real civil rights movement and everything so it was really um, tasteless in a way but I think there is something there, and I just liked the characters, and the graphics were really nice, and the music was amazing, so it's one of those games I enjoy, but I recognize the problematic aspects, I guess. So I do recommend it, though. <laughs> 
Hank was my favorite character, probably because he was played by Clancy Brown, and I'm just a big fan of Clancy Brown. But yeah, so it's Friday morning, 7.01 a.m. I made, kind of, it was gonna be a latte, but there was a lot more foam than I was expecting, and I'm still kind of, uh, not sure, uh, about lattes and cappuccinos. Cappuccinos are the ones that have a lot of foam, right? I don't know. I don't have any espresso K-cups. I had one in my sampler box that was espresso roast, so I was like, alright, I'm just gonna use this, put the minimum amount of water in it and make it really strong, and then use my milk heater slash frother. It's really cool, the brand is like Morocco. It's really easy to clean, at least compared to like a frothing wand, in my experience. And you can heat milk only if you want to have like hot chocolate or something. You can heat it with dense foam, or you can heat it with fluffy foam, and you can even keep it cold, but make it foamy, like a cold foam. And uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm shilling a milk frother, but if you're like me and frothing wands are just annoying, <laughs> I recommend it. I did three chapters yesterday. This morning I started on chapter four. I'm kind of already a page into it. I was doing it while waiting for the frother to heat and waiting for like the coffee to brew and stuff like that so I've gotten through a page or so already and uh, I'm just gonna jump in there's no point really in me rambling this vlog this vlog I swear I didn't just wake up <laughs> this vlog is already gonna be longer than I wanted yeah so I'm just gonna jump in and see you know see where it goes <laughs> and I uh I'm, I've been like blocking out the noise usually when I'm writing I like to keep the volume one so you can hear my typing because my ASMR tingles come from typing so I don't know some people like to hear typing so I can't usually keep that in but I'm listening to music and also reading out loud because that helps me with the flow so I'm gonna be putting on my royalty free music for you guys <laughs> So I just finished chapter 6, 40 pages in, and I'm about to start chapter 7. I'm not really filming a lot because I already did that in yesterday's clip because I actually took a little break to edit yesterday's clip together so I saw how much of the technical stuff I filmed and there's really only so, so much, I don't know, that I bet an audience is willing to watch of me scrolling and typing so I didn't haven't really been filming much this morning. It's 9.29. I think I'm making decent time and I do not have the siren song of Detroit Become Human singing to me right now so I have a good long day to do all of this. After I finish chapter 7 I will already be 50 pages in which kind of blows my mind and even though I am still changing a lot in this story I'm still amazed at how how good it is. I'm not I'm not gonna put it on like the same level as, you know, like a Stephen King book or anything. Like I'm not saying this is award-winning fiction, this is best-selling fiction, but in terms of like me and what I know how to do and my past stories, I guess, reading this, I'm surprised by how good I made it and I really feel like I'm growing and just learning a lot and one thing I'm really finding too is, I know I've mentioned before that I'm like obsessed with passive writing voice and I'm still finding little bits and pieces here and there but that was something I really cut out during the last revision and so it makes it read kind of a lot quicker and it's more sharp and I don't know, I'm just, I'm really enjoying what I've done and what I'm continuing to do. Yeah, I'm also, I took another break as well because I'm trying to come up with an author tagline because I want to get a new logo and new header for like my website and stuff like that and taglines are pretty cool. I know not every author has one but I don't know. So I've been kind of brainstorming ideas for that as well and I'm just having a really uh, good morning I think. I don't know. I am really hungry though <laughs> and my boyfriend bought me a bagel yesterday. He brought it home from work and I've been thinking about that bagel all morning. So I think I'm actually gonna go cook that bagel. Cook. You know, toast the bagel. And just eat that and probably just play around on my phone until I'm done eating. Because I I don't like to eat and work at the same time. I feel like I rush my writing or I rush my eating and 
it's just not conducive to me personally. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm gonna go make that bagel and eat and then get back to work on chapter seven and I'll let you know how it goes. <laughs> So it is 2.01 in the afternoon. I have just finished, oh yikes, can't believe I can't remember what chapter it is. Chapter 10. Yeah, chapter 10. And uh, so I have basically gone through 64 pages since yesterday. I'm making decent time. This is a really long story though, so I'm going to have to make better time <laughs> if I want to be done by the deadline I've set myself, which I think is September 1st. We gotta pick up the pace, but I think I'm gonna stop for now. Stop. I'm gonna stop filming at least because my boyfriend will be home any minute and I am awkward filming when he is home. I don't know why, I just am. It's a thing. <laughs> so I'm on chapter 11. It'll be page 65. I forgot how quickly things kind of get into it. I don't know. I was just kind of surprised that this scene happened so early on when it felt like it was more of kind of midway kind of scene, but I don't know. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so I think I'm going to stop filming and I think that'll be the end of this vlog because I don't want to make it too long. These were just kind of me taking advantage of having two days off and the start of draft four. So I'm going to get all this footage, edit it and upload it and shared ASAP. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, it was really nice. It was really fun. I've enjoyed these two days. And I wish I could do it more often, honestly. <laughs> Just take days off and dedicate to writing stuff. Because I got my newsletter finished, which, like I said, I'll link down below. I messed around with my logo and made it look a little bit better on my website. Came up with a tagline for myself. I am looking into getting a new logo made that looks a little better, a little, I guess, more professional or more streamlined than the sketchy one I have now. And yeah, I just feel like I was able to be extremely productive on the writing side of things, whereas normally, because of my full-time job, I'm not. So yeah, I really liked being able to take this time off and dedicate it to writing stuff. I don't think I'll be filming anything this weekend, but I'm not sure, uh, obviously. If I film anything, you'll see it <laughs> when I post it. But for now, I'm gonna turn off the old camera, and yeah, I'm going to enjoy this cloudy Friday. And when my boyfriend gets home, we gotta figure out dinner. <laughs> so, yeah. How's your writing going? How's your reading going? Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, comment down below, tell me how you're doing, what you're up to, all that stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching.